Welcome to another lecture. In this lesson, I'll be showing you how to use Semantic UI to build our simple but beautiful user location app. The first thing is to link the Semantic UI CSS file to our project. I'm going to be using CDN format, which means the link I'm about to get was hosted on the Semantic UI website. So let's go and grab that. Open up the browser, go to Semantic UI website, and click the menu icon. At the top left, choose Getting Started link from the sidebar. Under Preface Using Build Tool section, click the recipe link at the end, which will bring another page. Half the way down, you can find the Semantic CSS link under Single Component section, at least at the time of this recording. Copy the first link that has CSS extension, then head over to our project and open up the index.html file and paste the link between the head tags like so and hit save. Go to user location view component and I'm going to change the container element from h1 to section element. This is where I'm going to write all my HTML code. Okay, let's see the design. The first thing I want to do is to create a container element and center it on the browser. To do that, I'm going to be adding class attribute to the section tag with a few semantic UI classes, which are UI two column grid. Yes, I am making a two column grid wrapper here, and I will let you know why just in a moment. Then declare two divs inside it with a class name column and give different colors class names for each div so that we can see them on the browser. But what I want is one column and center, right? For that, all I have to do is to get rid of one of the columns and add centered class to the two column wrapper element. That will give a nice centered box. Wait, why would I need the, the class two still? Well, if you want to change the width of the box, all you have to do is to play around with that class. For example, change it to one from two if you want to make the box to be full width. All right, I'm going to get rid of the red class for the column div that I have added it before to show you where the div actually is and how much space it takes. Time to create a form tag with a class UI space segment space large space form inside the column div. In there, there will be three visible elements, which are the error message box at the top, the actual input field with the locator button on the right, and the go button. Let's take a look at one by one. First, error message. Create a div with a class name UI message red. UI is a common class that you use all the UI elements that are visible on the browser and the message class puts the rounded corner border to the div. And the red is the background color as well as the border color. Pretty straightforward. Next one is the input field. Let's create a wrapper for that first, starting with div that has two classes, UI and segment. Segment class is also very similar to the message class, adding a rounded corner border to the element. Create another div with the class name field, which is an input group container. Inside it, I'm going to define another div with a few semantic class names, UI, right, icon, input, large. The right icon classes will put the icon on the right side of the input field. So let's declare the input field and the icon in there. Input type is set to text and the placeholder attribute is set to 
enter your address like so. Under that, create I element with a few class names dot circle icon. This will tell what type of icon and how that should be displayed. For more icon options, you can take a look at this page. The last element is the go button, which is pretty straightforward. Create a button element with a class name UI button and add text go in there. Perfect. One more thing that I'm going to do is change the button color so that it matches my theme. To do that, create a style element after the end of the template tag like so. Inside that, define dot UI dot button and opening and closing curly braces. I'm going to change the background color and the actual text color of it. So background hyphen color colon and its value would be pound sign FF5A5F which is reddish pink color I think and the text color will be white. I will do the same to the icon classes by adding a comma and typing dot 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 circle dot icon without any space in between. Awesome! Now you know how easy it is to build this beautiful form with a few semantic UI classes. Now I'm ready to get user location when a user presses the locator icon which is right side of the input field. That is exactly what I will cover in the next lesson. Hey, if you want to know more about Google Maps API and how you can use it to enhance location-based services in your JavaScript or Vue.js app, check out my course link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.